Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 1st, 2021. So as we kick off this first month of November, we have the bulls all fired up this morning, pushing hard. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. You know, this is a pretty darn remarkable market. Last week we had durable goods declining. We had our GDP number coming in substantially lower. We had um, real incomes declining, consumer sentiment staying low. We had tech earnings disappointing. And then we just pushed higher to set new records on Friday, as I kind of suspected the institutions were not going to allow any selling into the close of the month. And uh, although it started off a little bit bearish, it was just all buying and all hands on deck pushing to the upside and this morning they are not stopping that activity we're looking for a gap up open and more new records here today to be set as we continue to push higher and higher and this morning we will be looking at some manufacturing data which we may just as well ignore at, uh, as well let's take a look at our technicals in our charts and see if we can gain some information out of this it's just uh, what we have right now is just almost to the point of ridiculous extension um, in the market and so one of the things you have to consider when we gap up to new record highs is that possibility that this could be a little bit of a bait the bulls situation and that possibility not that it has to but that possibility we could see a pop and drop on the day and that means institutions inspiring people to just chase in and then they have someone to sell to at the um, open but i can't rule out the possibility that these bulls are just not going to stay relentless to the upside as well and just keep pushing um extending this market continued way up as we continue to push and push and push. It's kind of a remarkable circumstance here in the market. So let's take a look. We've broken through this new, this resistance high and we ended up holding it just ever so slightly and then just powered right back through after those bad tech earnings as if really nothing matters. These P and E ratios of these companies that are so extended, nobody seems to care. Um, when I see metrics like this, it makes me very, very nervous for the market and just uh, makes me want to pull back and not trade so much because of this uh, wild-eyed bullishness. But that being said, there's no nothing in this chart that says that we're going to stop yet. Trend is definitely higher and those bulls are definitely in, the, in control. If they see some follow-through buying this morning after the open, well, we may as well just consider you know, just plug your nose and cover your eyes and buy something and then hope that there's someone out there that'll buy it back from you at a higher price. But I'm going to be really, really careful to make sure I'm only buying stock that is at or near a price support level. Because when we chase an extended move like this, there is an awful lot of risk in the pullback. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY is also extending up to set new record highs again today. We closed the month at new records and we're extending on higher here this morning. There doesn't seem to be anything slowing us down whatsoever. It's just continued to push full speed ahead. And as you can see, we're pushing up pretty sharply here this morning, um, looking for a big gap up open here in the SPY. Now let's just consider because of the extension that we see here, that possibility of a pullback if it does occur could be very very painful but at this point in time there just doesn't seem to be anything that standing in the way of just 
surging in and buying um, in the market. Um, we saw news of potential stagflation, that uh, that problem is continuing to grow over there in China. We don't care about that either. Um, just hurry up and buy something. Um, let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ continuing to rally, as you can see, stretching big time after those tech companies disappointed Boy, we found no reason at all not to do any selling. As a matter of fact, it was to dive back in and buy them. And so we stretched on higher here, setting new record highs on Friday. And we're going to set some more this morning. Here this morning, the bulls are on fire. They just see no reason not to just dive in and buy. But once again, just keep in mind how extended we are. And if we pull back, how painful that pullback could certainly be. So watch that closely. And then let's take a look at our IWM. Now, IWM has had a, an interesting struggle here with this downtrend, and it looked like we were going to officially fail it right here where we popped through and failed, but nope, those bulls continue to push, and we've driven right back up here again, and we're going to retest this resistance high in the chart on IWM. We continue to see um, that oil sector continuing to hold up very, very strongly. We did get a little bit of a pullback this last week, but um, holding up pretty strong. And we're seeing those financial institutions hold um, the Russell in this bullish move. But let's keep in mind, we have a year's worth of resistance in here that we still have to best. The way that Mark is acting, acting right now, nothing really matters. So we could certainly just ignore this and push right on through. But I'm going to be a little bit more careful and cautious and kind of consider that possibility of resistance that we could reject at those areas. So watching that closely. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX that had been rising up just slightly, well, we just kind of didn't care about those tech earnings that they disappointed so badly. Um, as a matter of fact, after they disappointed, the market bought up the stocks. So we saw a little bit of a pullback here in the VIX on Friday going into the close of the month. And we're going to start off this morning with a pretty good pop as well and that possibility that we could be right back down here testing this support area um, in the VIX and even that possibility that we could fall right through that area in the chart. Let's note over here that we um, didn't even come close to that resistance level here in the chart um, breaking through that trend but we did test some price resistance right in here. Um, overall I've got to say that the bulls are still in control. We're con continuing to remain underneath that downtrend in the chart and pushing back down this morning. Let's take a look at our T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And if you take a look at that, we did get a little bit of a resting pullback in here when we saw that one day of um, down move in the market, which does say that we have this upside opportunity this morning. We're gonna experience that first thing this morning. I'm guessing we're gonna be right up here. We're going to be right up here in that bearish reversal zone once again here this morning. And that's why I suggest we probably ought to watch pretty closely at the open to make sure that we don't end up with that pop and drop where we gap into the open and institutions immediately start selling to anyone who chases in and then we start to sell back off. But that being said, if that doesn't occur, if we see follow through buying, there's no reason to believe that we can't continue to extend and just continue to linger up here in this overbought condition of the market because there just doesn't seem to be any bears in the market whatsoever. It's just buy everything no matter the price. So watch that carefully. And then if we take a look at our um, T2107. The T2107 was a little bit disappointing. Whoops. It was a little bit disappointing that it didn't fire up a little bit more um, um, on Friday. Notice that T2107 continued just a little bit of a pullback. We had um, 45 percent of our stocks as you can see here 45 percent of our stocks are above the 200 day moving average i suspect we're going to get some kind of bounce out of this today but the good news is we've kind of slid out beyond that downtrend 
um, here in T2107, we are holding on to this support level. So if we get that bounce this morning, we might turn this around and that'll help the market a lot if we can get some of these stocks coming up out of those bottoms. Then if we take a look at T2101, T2101 market breadth continued to pull back on Friday. We continue to build this substantial wedge in T2101 and I got to tell you I'm not exactly sure what that means as we continue to tighten this up it would seem to me that the closer and closer and closer we get to tightening this wedge that we're going to see some kind of pullback in the market come into play but who knows when that might occur right now it's just bye 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 let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, we do have a few things that we're going to want to pay attention to today and for the rest of this week. Let's take a quick peek here. As you can see right here, we're going to get PMM, PMI manufacturing data, we're going to get ISM manufacturing data, and some construction spending today. Now the ISM is the biggest, the one that has the most potential of moving the market and they are, analysts are suggesting that that pulls back from last month's um, uh, reading. So if it comes in like that, maybe we'll do what we did with kind of all the reports last week and just ignore them. Um, we'll see what happens here if that does if our manufacturing does pull back so keep a close eye on that that's what the consensus is suggesting then remember we're gonna start the FOMC meeting on Tuesday and then we'll get that announcement um, will they taper or will they not taper that is the question so keep an eye on that we'll want to watch that closely um, and notice we have a petroleum status number. We've got the Fed chair press conference. And don't forget, we get that ADP number first thing in the morning. And then we've got international trading goods, jobless claims on Thursday that we'll want to pay attention to. And then, of course, that big employment situation number on Friday. That will be very, very important and could certainly move the market. So what about our earnings calendar for today? Well, our earnings calendar is pretty busy and it's going to ramp up all week long. Um, we've got about 87 companies listed on the calendar today, but a good number of those are unconfirmed reports, excuse me, um, unconfirmed reports. And so we will need to um, um, just keep an eye on our notables here this morning. Notable reports, if you take a look, there's too many to cover. If you take a look at the uh, link just below the title of the video, I'll take you back to the morning blog. And there you can get the full list of potential notables today. Let's take a look at a, um, some that we'll definitely want to be paying attention to. Um, Clorox will be reporting today. It looks like it's trying to move slightly higher. This thing has just been down, 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 down. After COVID kind of subsided, Clorox kind of went all the way back down. So watch that closely. Uh, we've got CVI. Um, we know that um, energy has been exceedingly strong and although CVI has pulled back here recently, it may find some price support here in the chart and um, start back up if it can get that good report. So keep an eye on CVI. We will also hear from Fang today. Keep an eye on Diamondback. Notice this nice little resting pullback and consolidation in here holding above support. Um, certainly has that look and feel that it could move right on higher. We're going to hear from Mosaic this morning. Um, keep an eye on Mosaic. Um, also a nice little consolidating pattern trying to move on up. We're going to catch uh, on semiconductor here this morning. Looks like they're gapping higher uh, this morning. How about some o, uh, o Realty? A uh, little bit of a pullback there in this real estate investment trust. And let's see, how about TTM? How about TTM? Tata Motors trying to move up a little bit this morning. That will also be reporting. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon so that it'll um, 
bring you back to every time I post a video. It'll notify you and let you know that I've posted another. And if you find these videos to be worthy, if you could please do me a favor, click that subscribe or that thumbs up button and then also click that bell. I, my goodness, I can't speak this morning. I apologize. Click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment because it is the engagement with the videos that make a difference. So thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. And once again, thanks so much to everyone who continues to support the channel through Buy Me A Coffee. Remember, we're getting closer and closer to 25,000 and I'm gonna be giving away a personal carved, something that I have carved. It's a uh, Christmas tree. Um, um, and if you guys are interested in that make sure you pay attention we'll do some a drawing uh for those trees um and um, i just want to say thank you everyone for participating um let's take a look at some of these stock setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security make sure you do your own due diligence make sure you are watching um, very closely and understand the risk of every single trade as you guys know i've been mentioning oracle here for a while and oracle continues that potential setup notice we've got this nice little consolidation move here in this trend and we're getting a little bit of bullishness we had a little inverted hammer pattern um, on Friday trying to get going and then pulled back and as you can see it's trying to fire up again here this morning so I keep an eye on Oracle I think there is that possibility that we could finally gain this support and move to the upside here in the chart. Let's take a look at Mondelez. Now Mondelez is a defensive sector stock, but I gotta tell you, I love this pattern. This is a break of that downtrend. Nice little hold, as you can see, hold that downtrend as support and we've started up. And we've got this nice inverted head and shoulders pattern forming here on this chart. Hasn't been quite ready to pop on out but watch that carefully if we pop through that resistance right there Mondelez may have some upside potential um, in that chart so keep a close eye on it you might also want to keep an eye whoops uh, not General Motors that one kind of fell apart but Fubo Fubo trying to test this resistance level in this chart notice we've broken the downtrend here and we're holding we're putting in that process where we're consolidating trying to hold that area as support and we're still hanging on here by and large to the current trend and that possibility that we could finally pop through this level up here and hold watch for an upside opportunity here in fubo if that can kind of keep going um you might want to keep an eye on uh ford oh my goodness ford um really moving hard and fast here any consolidation up here any rest up in this area would suggest a little bit of bullishness could come into play as we kind of hold up in this trend and that possibility that we could move on higher you know i have been mentioning checkpoint um to folks in in right way options quite a while in fact this was my original alert right here in the chart and by the way guys i just want to point out that this is that pattern where we break the downtrend rally up hold that higher level of support and you can see this continues to move on higher and i apologize guys my tc2000 seems to have stuck so i guess i'm going to end this video here this morning i apologize i'm going to have to reset my tc2000 i want to wish you guys all a fantastic fantastic week and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great day.